Welcome to State Scoop TV. I'm Jake Williams. We are here at the NACIO Mid-Year Conference in Crystal City, Virginia. My guest here is Todd Kimbrell. He's the Chief Information Officer for the State of Texas. Todd, thanks for being with us. You're welcome, Jake. My pleasure. So, Todd, let's talk about reimagining the way that your state does business. How are you trying to reimagine your business in the state of Texas digitally? Um, we are actually uh, currently in the process of coming up. We have a theme of My Government, My Way. We're focused on how can we change the paradigm of how citizens consume services instead of how agencies deliver services. And the key tenet of that will be a portal, a citizen-based portal, where a citizen can credential in and opt in. They don't have to use it. Uh, but once they do, we can start to use cognitive reporting to actually build a, an understanding of what services that citizen uses how they use those services, when they use those services, and deliver services that are most relevant to them. Um, we envision a Siri-like or an Alexa-like digital assistant that would uh, help them uh, navigate the, the consumption of services and, uh, in, in the fashion that's most uh, custom to them. And so kind of along those lines, what steps are you taking to connect your team digitally regardless of the device that they're using? Um, so we, we think, uh, you know, if you look at, at uh, the way state employees work, uh, generally there's that, that view that they have to be, you know, kind of in their seats and, and at their desk working. Um, we're a big believer in telework, and so in order to really support a, a strong telework strategy, you really have to have all the policies and procedures in place, they have to be sound, um, but also you have to have that technology that allows them to work from anywhere. So we've moved to a lot of SaaS deliver products uh, to make it easier for um, our employees to access from anywhere. Um, using a smartphone or a laptop or a tablet. Um, so we, uh, we have, have taken a, a lot of steps to make sure that, that we can work in a mobile environment because that's what constituents do. That's their environment and we have to understand and, and work in that same environment. And so when you're talking about SaaS, you're talking about telework, you're talking about all these digital processes, how are you including cybersecurity in the discussion on how to make that workforce more efficient? Well, cybersecurity is everything, right? Yeah. I mean, it, we live and breathe it every day now, so uh, the risk is real. Um, the risk changes every day, so uh, we do have uh, we do have a series of strategies from a cyber perspective. Uh, we believe in defense in depth, so uh, not just uh, one single layer of defense strategy, but rather multiple defense strategies, so that we can ensure that the data that we collect, the data that we uh, exchange, is is all secured, um, you know, throughout its life cycle, whether it's uh, from point of origin to uh, transition or uh, uh, to point of uh, storage, to make sure that we're safe uh, in all areas. That's great. And from a network perspective, what are you doing to keep employees connected, secure, and produ um, productive? Yes. Yeah. So productivity is key, right? We want to. We have. Uh, we have tools in place that again allow that connectivity to, to get them to the tools that they need to do the jobs that we ask them to do uh, in a secure fashion. We leverage uh, our security partners um, to, to deliver those tools and manage the, the environment within which they uh, they work. Um, very dependent upon our partner community to, to help us accomplish a, a high degree of safety and security, um, both from a, a general networking perspective. And we have a pretty big network in Texas, so yeah. we've got a lot of area to cover, um, as well as to make sure that our, our employees and citizens are safe. Everything's bigger in Texas. Uh, <laughs> what is, uh, so, you know, you can't, you can't come to a conference like this and not ask the forward-looking question. What, what does your vision look like for the way that your team operates and delivers services to constituents going forward? Um, so, you know, so I'll go back to this sort of personal digital assistant idea that uh, we want a citizen to be able to consume services the way that they want to consume services. And so putting together an application that they could access from their more, po more portable device or whatever it may be um, from any device, any platform of, of their choosing um, to make sure that they can get the services they need uh, when and how they want it. Uh, for example, um, you're familiar with Siri and, and Alexa and, and we envision a personal digital assistant very similar to that. Um, that would be configured by the citizen to carry the language, the, the look, the feel, the tone that the citizen wants to engage with so that, uh, for example, renewing a, a vehicle registration should be no more difficult than getting a text from your personal digital assistant that says, would you like to renew your registration? And you text back and say yes, and that's all. You get your registration in the mail thereafter. So that's kind of the, the place that we're trying to get to. We're pretty comfortable in the next two to three years we're going to get there. That's great. Todd, thanks for being with us today. I appreciate all your thoughts on this. You bet. This. Thank you, Jake. Appreciate it. For more it. information about what Todd is doing in the great state of Texas, check out statescoop.com and subscribe to the Daily Scoop newsletter. Again, I'm here with Todd Kimbriel, the CIO of the state of Texas. I'm Jake Williams, the manager of strategic initiatives for State Scoop. Thanks for watching.